everyone. Welcome to my presentation in Science and Technology in Society. In this video, we will discuss the 21st century in Science and Technology. But before that, alamin muna natin kung sino-sino nga ba yung mga kabilang sa 21st century. According to the Gregorian calendar, the 21st century is the current century in the Anno Domine era or Common era. It began on January 1, 2001 and will end on December 31, 2100. The 21st century is the first century of the third millennium. So, tayo po yun, yung mga 20 pataas ay kasama sa 21st century and third millennium. Science and Technology and 21st Century The accumulation of scientific knowledge and new technologies has transformed human life due to discoveries, scientific research, inventions, and advancement of technology. It makes life lighter, stronger, and durable than anything available before. It also speeds the growth and dissemination of new knowledge. Technology and Education Due to the past advancement in technology, it is a great opportunity to integrate it in the education sector. It aims to improve the service and quality of education. Technology can also provide the distance learning and takes effective and productive method for learnings. It also boosts the interest of students and their study. Dati po kailangan pa natin magtungo sa library, maghanap ng libro para sa takdang aralin. Ngayon, due to advanced technology, through internet, cellphone, laptops, or computers, pwede mo na po mahanap yung kasagutan sa mga nais mong malaman. Instructors have a great resources for teaching, especially with the use of multimedia that makes their work easier and today century. Napapanahon po ngayon yung paggamit natin ng uh, internet, lalo na ngayon distance learning. So, yun po yung talagang uh, ginagamit natin ngayon. Next po, science and technology in health. In terms of health, in today's century, science and technology have a great contribution. However, the technology to be produced should be aimed to meet the needs of society and improve the life quality of our populations. So, we have to invest in new drugs, vaccines, and therapies for the control and eradication of endemic disease. Gladly, technology came. Due to its improved characteristics or advancement, health records became more consolidated that has great impact to the medical workers and patients. Providers have now access to health data from all over the globe. They can gather data, categorize it, and provide reports regarding to their queries. In this century, medical machineries has no exemption. Remotely directed surgical procedures and telemedicine has been implemented, and because of the development of machineries, it helps to identify and predict disease outbreak that really helps the medical workers. and technology work. New technologies has helped to accumulate employees' individual preferences. It also helped for his employment. The new developments in science and technology become widely applied in industries as they are expanded and approved, improved upon. It also improved the operations, their transactions, and less difficulty in doing business. Dati, mano-mano yung pagtatrabaho natin sa mga kumpanya, sa mga pabrika. Ngayon, halos lahat na ng katulong ng mga tao, ng mga manggagawa ay mga machines. So, mas mapapadali yung mga produkto na kailangan natin. Science and Technology in Economy Technology in 21st century has been doing too much more 
improvement of living standards, more robust international trade and link to marketplace transformation. It is to have access inside or out the country and is a measurement of the market economy. Science and technology continue to support the objectives of sustainability and improve living standards in all countries. Yan, mas mapapadali yung trabaho natin. Meron, pwede tayong mag-work from home. Effect of science and technology in 21st century. Ito yung pinaka-importante ngayon kasi marami siyang uh, positive and negative effect ng science and technology sa kapanahon na natin ngayon. The 21st century will be remembered for the fast-paced technology development. Technology affects almost everything we do today and influence our plan for the future. Nowadays, technology is virtually in all sectors. It is an important part of life. Technology advancement has a lot of impact on the quality of life. Life has been made better and easier. It improves the connection to keep the communication to the people who's in long distance. Kung dati po, kailangan pa nating sulatan yung mga mahal natin sa buhay. Ngayon, through cell phones na lang, through internet, makakausap na natin at makukulong na natin yung mga mahal natin sa buhay. And it makes life more entertaining. However, it has adverse effect. There are ways through which the country affects life in a negative manner. One of the main reasons that contributed to the significant technology development experience in this country and this century is the competition between the different world superpowers. Especially after the world wars, nations invested a lot in technology advancement. This was because many anticipated another war and all countries were working towards preparedness in the event of war. This led to a lot of technological innovation and inventions. Yung mga negative uh, impact naman po ng science and technology sa atin, lalo sa mga kabataan ngayon na, na sobrang gumamit ng technology, ng mga cellphone, laptops, yun, minsan napakabayaan na nila yung pag-aaral nila dahil sa paggamit ng mga uh, cellphones and laptops, computers. Thank you.